Welcome to Nordegg area in David Thompson country. It's a very tiny little village. There's a couple of gas stations, a couple of little shops and restaurants. This miner's cafe right here is supposed to have excellent pie. There's a museum up the road that just gives the history of the area. It's uh, got a big coal mining history, so you see a lot of little remnants of that throughout the town. So. We are not staying here. There's actually only one little motel in Nordegg itself. We are moving on to a campground called Fish Lake Campground. We're on the way in, boat launch campground, day use area. We are in loop two, site nine, here at Fish Creek Campground. And here's a look at our beautiful site. We've got lots of room to back into. There's a little tent pad. The water feels good after a long day in the van. I think we were 700 kilometers from Roast Town to here. But now we're here and we've got this view. It feels pretty great. How's supper going? So far so good. We had a little rain that chased us under the awning for a minute, but we've got our chicken fajitas in the pan and it's just kind of drizzling now so it's supper time we're ready I pre-made the fajita mix at home so all we had to do is warm it up and stick it in the wraps so it's time to eat it's 9 30 at night just gonna go down, starting to clear up here. It feels pretty good. Not bad for a, a little lake almost in the mountains. Here we are back in the van after a whole year. We're ready for ready for our first night back sleeping in the van. We made some plans for tomorrow uh, but we'll kind of just wait and see how the night goes, uh, what time we get up and at them in the morning and we'll go from there. Good night. Good morning. Here we are we're cooking breakfast. Had a good night in the van. Once we finish our breakfast we're ready to start our day. Maybe get some hiking in. So Fish Lake Campground is just six kilometers west of Nordegg and then it's two kilometers in on a little gravel road. We are in loop two, like we mentioned, and we're just one row off of the lake, so it's pretty nice. And as you can see, the sites are really treed in and beautiful. There's a loon in the background, which we've been listening to like we heard them last night and again this morning. So it's uh, a campground that we have really enjoyed being here for one night just because of how peaceful and beautiful it is. So. Just after 
after 12.30 and we are about a kilometer down our first hike. We know that it's a bit later than most hikers would get out, but it was such a quiet and beautiful morning at our campsite. We really enjoyed making our breakfast and going out on our paddle boards. So we don't feel bad about coming out late, but I know it's recommended to hit the trails a bit earlier. Uh, but we are at the Crescent Falls hike and we're doing a bighorn lookout. It's just a 2.5 out and back. So uh, we'll take you along with us and see what it's all about. Okay, we made it to the Bighorn Lookout. Walked 2.5 kilometers. And this is the roadside pullout that we drove by on the way to the trailhead. So it's a nice walk, but you can also see everything there is to see just from the parking lots. Okay, maybe this is the lookout. We just walked a couple hundred meters. You can see the vehicles over there on this pullout. And probably a better view over here. Well, even though the parking lot we parked in is right here and this is the trailhead for the hike we just went on, we saved the best for last. So let's go see Crescent Falls. up to the Dayus area here just through the water you cross and then there's actually camping down at the far end which is really cool. So there's a walking bridge that you can walk across or the trucks just drive right through the water. We have made it to Abraham Lake. I feel like it is the crown jewel of the David Thompson Highway, Highway 11. It is a gigantic lake. It is so beautiful. I didn't know it was going to be this beautiful color, but let me show you this coolest part. So there's no signs on the highway or anything. You just cross over um, a creek called All Stones Creek, and all of a sudden you're in this public land free camping area and it is right on the lake this is like what it's all about this is the kind of thing this is the reason people come out here and if you're lucky enough to get a spot like this I don't think there's anything better it's lunchtime we had made some wraps in the van, it's great. So I was misinformed about the freeness of this area. It actually is, you pay a public land fee and it's $20 a person uh, for a three day pass, or you can pay $30 a person for an entire year. So even at that, it's still a great deal. I think there's a lot more of these campgrounds or these areas along the road. This is kind of just a trip to familiarize ourselves with the area and see what maybe we can plan for another trip. So we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the day. find out yeah they're able to take us we can go in 10 minutes today right now yeah right park the van we're going how much which one do you want to do are you kidding let's go back her up take your keys i'll roll up my window oh my gosh
finished our helicopter tour. You can see him just slowing down in the background there. Uh, kind of an epic thing to do. Once again, on a whim, just going out, driving by, <laughs> just pulling in, driving by, seeing what's happening. I can't believe we just did that. I didn't have time to be prepared. She prepared had to run. Or we had ten minutes. She or said the helicopter's coming in ten minutes. Ten minutes to think about Everything. being up in a helicopter. Being prepared. Crazy. Yeah. I can't believe we just did it. I hope we got some cool video. Yeah, you guys will really like it. <laughs> that awesome. was amazing. It's really cool to go from on the ground to flying over the mountains, seeing all the glaciers. We're super lucky. Do we even need to do any hikes in the area? I think we just saw all the waterfalls that were on our list. <laughs> yeah, he just kept saying, that's two day hike. That one there, oh, that's a long hike, he says. And it's just like, you could just drop us off. That'd be great. We'll walk out. No, so many nice waterfalls. Wow. Uh, well, maybe get experience. to something yet today there's a couple short ones yet we can get to yeah we'll we'll see what else happens today right on okay we actually found a marked trailhead here on the number 11 highway it has this gigantic parking lot it's a really popular hike called Siffler Falls and it is a seven kilometer hike in and seven kilometers back out. But there's lots of different things I think to see along the way, including a suspension bridge and a few different waterfalls. So we're just gonna head a little bit down the trail. It's getting late. Um, of course, it's about six o'clock. So we will just kind of wander down and see what the hike is like. We're definitely not going to do the whole thing. Less than 500 meters in and we're at the little Suspension bridge already. Which river is this, Becky? Ooh, this is, must be the North Saskatchewan. North Saskatchewan River. Which lake does it fall into, Becky? Abraham Lake. Which end is the dam at on this lake? <laughs> the far end of Abraham Lake. There you the go. The river goes in, they dam it, and then the river can come out the other end of the big Abraham Lake reservoir. Perfect. How many feet does the lake go up and down every year? I think our helicopter guide told us 118. That's correct. That's a lot. That's ridiculous. That, what year did they start damming it off? I missed that. 1960. What year did they finish? I missed that too. 1970. What year did they fill it? <laughs> 1971. Okay. Now we know the facts. I was enjoying the scenery a lot during our helicopter ride. Isn't that the truth? All right. Let's keep hiking. We have uh, walked about 2.6 kilometers up the trail. I think this is the point where we're going to turn around. We've been about 45 minutes on the trail, so if we've got another 45 minutes out, that's getting pretty late for me, so we'll head back, but this is a beautiful trail. It's just such a nice, easy walk. I would love to do it another time. We we're back at the parking lot from where we started. It was about an hour and a half back and forth up the river and back. Five kilometers. We're half an hour from our campsite tonight, which is Ram Park Creek. So we'll be excited to get there and get set up and maybe even have some supper. We're at Rampart Creek Campground. Going to find our campsite. We are at another beautiful campsite here at Rampart Creek. It is quite gorgeous, very well treated, lots of beautiful moss. And it's supper time. We have some chili that we brought to warm up and we're ready for it. Here's our campsite number 23, right close to the bathrooms, which are pit toilets only. We were getting a little stiff and sore in our chairs, so we decided to come for a little walk. Haven't gone very far and here we are at River Creek. Maybe this is Rampart Creek. I don't know, it's pretty big. It's gotta be a river. 
She seems pretty large. She's really so giving large. it. Oh, definitely. One last little cheeky s'more here for the night, and then it's off to bed. Good morning. We are all packed up. We had breakfast at the site, and we are ready to head out on the Icefield Parkway. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Luckily, I had written down a few of the names of the hikes that I wanted to do because there is no service along the parkway or the part we're at right now. But I did have Parker's Ridge Trail marked down and we found the sign. There's, it was well signed along the highway for the turnout. So we've got 2.4 kilometers in and then back out into the switchbacks. Like I said, this hike is rated at moderate. We're just one kilometer in now. And definitely short of breath. There's your mix of wildflowers and snow. Oh, we've got some snowboarders we met down in the parking lot. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Okay, we're at the top, or what we think is the top. There's a little bit more wandering around you can do once you're up here on the ridge. We wandered that way a bit, but we think that we can see the Saskatchewan Glacier there behind us. We've got great views all the way around. And someone built all these little huts up here, which is kind of cute. So we we'll might just take a little break up here. Uh, we're one hour in, so we're doing pretty good for time. And then we'll head back down. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. We found a little lake there at the bottom of the glacier and better views of the river running. Two things that I would recommend for the Parker's, Parker Ridge hike would be some bug spray, even in kind of the heat of the day here. Uh, there's a lot of mosquitoes. They're not terrible, but bug spray would help. And I also would recommend your walking sticks or hiking sticks if you have them. Of course, we have them with us in the van and just didn't think even about grabbing them or didn't really think that we would need them but I would recommend them Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Back at the van in about two hours and two minutes and that was with lots of walking around up top and I also forgot to pause my watch while we were sitting up there for a bit so not bad the recommended or the estimated time on the sign here was two hours so we did it and I would say that I was actually pretty slow moving today so it's a nice little hike it's getting pretty busy right now and it's hot so yeah it's one o'clock so it's warm yeah so come early or wait until later in the day Another really popular pullout along the Icefields Parkway is for Sun Walk to Falls. And there's just a nice little parking area with some picnic tables even and washrooms. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Falls. Very cool place to be. Super easy to get to. 100 meters 
once you're in the parking lot, you're here. Really epic place, everyone should stop. Definitely, it's one of the coolest waterfalls I think you'll, you'll see in the area. And like Trav said, they're literally right off the highway. And we're back from the falls. Just driving into Jasper. There's the first little Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. One on each side. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. We made it here to our destination in Jasper. But to find out more about that, you'll actually have to watch the next video. We're going to end this video right here, right now. So if you aren't already, you can subscribe to our channel to make sure you uh, see what is next on our trip. We've got some really exciting plans here in Jasper coming up over the next couple of days. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Oh.